Hi friends, it's Liz here at Liz the Paper Project. It's that time of year. I'm starting with my holiday themed crafts. I couldn't wait any longer and I'm super excited about this project. It is one page wonder using an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And I absolutely love, love, love how quickly this project comes together. I have made this before. Um, I don't remember who the original person was that came up with this one, um, but I made it a couple years ago. I think it was fall themed. Um, so I'm just revisiting it now because I've added some, you know, I've made some additional like flip outs and uh, tuck spots different than the original one. And I'm going to show you here how you can do that as well. I'm just using that one page. I will try and link the original video that I shared with you all before in the description box below. Um, but I find that I like to revisit projects, especially with different themes because I'm so visual. So I have sort of need to see what it looks like uh, finished that way. Um, I do have some pieces that I've gathered, holiday themed. I've printed out some holiday themed papers. And then I'm also using some goodies that I received from my friend Beth Wallen. Hi Beth, if you're watching. Um, she had gifted me some supplies recently and so I was going through some of the items and this is sort of what inspired the project. So if you have questions of anything else that I have used, I will link it in the description box below or just leave me a message and let me know. Um, but this is what we'll be making today. I'm so happy with it. So this is a one page wonder using an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Um, I'll be adding this one again to my playlist of one page wonders. And um, then we'll be making one in this video as well. So the first one I did, um, I just kind of added a little ephemera on the front, you know, kind of made sure that the tag had a little um, string coming from it and then we'll open this up and then I'll show you quickly how this looks. So we've got a little tuck spot here and I've used some um, really lovely papers. Um, again I will show you those after I've done the flip throughs just in case um, you wanted to see that. Um, here I added um, a tiny little house. I've been obsessed with like houses and I love that these ones are like holiday themed. Oh my goodness, right? So then we'll flip this open and you see how you've got lots of different spaces where you can add more ephemera pieces. And the whole idea behind this uh, really fun and quick project is that um, you can just load it with ephemera and it's also really perfect for flat mail. Um, it also depends on how you cut your paper that you can get the different ways um, that the flips can come out, like the flips and flops. So I'll show you this one as well. Loving this little house. Um, this is the one we'll be making today. And then I've just added another tuck here. I made this one a little different where I added a little tuck space on this side of it. And then we'll flip this open so you can see two more. Now I don't remember originally who came up with this idea. I think in the video or I originally shared with all of you, I mentioned it, but I haven't had a chance to check um, who that was. Um, but I, this is not my original idea. It's just different ways that you can adapt this one page project. And like I said, from what you can see here, just different ways that you can cut up your one sheet of paper and then embellish it and make it your own. Um, as always, before I get started, I wanted to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, for leaving a thumbs up. Um, if you like this type of video, this is the way I know if you like uh, what I'm sharing with you. Don't forget to leave a comment in the description box below. You know, you can leave me a happy face, a little heart, just to let me know that you've watched the video. Um, and um, thank you for your support with my shop as well. I appreciate it. And the artists that I also feature in my shop. Um, really appreciate it. You know, every little bit counts. And when you make a purchase, even with um, one of my printables and one of my digitals, it really goes a long way, even if it's just one tiny little purchase. So thank you so, so much. Um, okay, let's get started with our one page. Okay, this is what I love about this project. You take your eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and make sure that the pattern is a pattern that you can turn either way or else you have to be very careful of which way your pattern is going to be facing. So what we're going to do is cut this in half um, this way. So we will end up with two pieces and I'll show you that in a minute. So we cut our pieces in half, which will be um, five and a quarter by um, in half. Okay, that's how they end up. 
your two pieces. Now this is the fun part. Um, it doesn't matter for me which um, is my outside part. So I'm just folding over one piece in half. And you can make sure that you do this with your um, bone folder later if you want to. But right now I'm just sort of doing it this way. Okay, so one piece is folded in half. The next piece you take and you cut this one in half again this way. So then you end up with two pieces that are um, four and a quarter. And let me just, I know my measurements, but of course I'm filming, so I'm forgetting right now. So they're five and a half by four and a quarter. Okay, so you end up with those two pieces. Your next step is going to be where you decide to add your next pieces to it here. So your flips. Okay, this is where you decide where you want flips to go. So I'm going to... Um, maybe add one flip to the outside here okay and so you can see here that this is basically half of my sheet I'm turning it over and this is where I'm just sort of deciding where I'm going to have my little tuck spot keeping in mind that this piece is going to bend in and out okay so um, I'm just sort of eyeballing it again and if you wanted to use your um, scoreboard you could but for the purposes of the video I'm just going to line it up with my um, with my ruler and then I think I think I want maybe my my tuck spot to be a little bit um, uh, bigger there so if I measure my tuck spot it's about one and a half Okay, that's where I'm kind of drawing my, my, I'm eyeballing it where I want that to be. And then I'm just going to bend that over so that when it's facing this way, it almost looks seamless, the part that we just folded over. Okay, so, <clears throat> and um, if I wanted to put it on this side, it would be the same thing. It would come out this way uh, but I'm thinking for the purposes of the video maybe I'll do it like this so it kind of opens up with the same pattern on the inside okay just grabbing my little scratch sheet again and I will be um, putting it on this side as I said and so what I'm going to do is just make sure that it is even now because this part should be Okay, and then just remember when you add your glue, you're only adding it to two parts of your um, of your little tab here because this will be a tuck spot. Okay, so I'm just going to line it up with the corner of my page here. I love this project because you can just keep adding if you wanted to, but it makes such a, a quick, you know, and fun, um, kind of like a little folio that you can send to a friend. Okay, so the next piece, we've got one left over. We cut this one in half again. Okay, so let's cut this in half again. Okay, so we had our, our, our sheet, we cut it in half. And now these pieces, again, it, this is where you decide, do you want to continue to add flip outs on this side? Do you want to add maybe a flip out on this side? So I think I'm going to do that. Again, I'm just going to, for you to see what I'm doing, just sort of eyeballing where I might want my next flip out. And again, I'm just going to use my ruler. This one I think is about, I would say like an inch maybe. Yeah, look at that. That's about an inch of a fold. Again, I'm just going to try to make sure this is even. And so then I will add, um, maybe I'll do it the same way so that when you're seeing this, you kind of see that it matches, right? So I'm adding this tiny little um, tuck spot to this side. So this is now, we've got tuck spot here and we'll have a tuck spot on this side and again, same thing I'm just adding glue to one side and the bottom this way we have our little tuck spot
These are so fun to make. Now I'm using my paper trimmer to um, trim these, but you can certainly just fold things and just, um, you know, kind of cut them, uh, just tear them. And that also gives it a nice look. Okay, so then we've got this here. And now um, I've got a little bit of extra left. So I might want to add maybe, I don't know, do I want to add an additional piece? Because I can keep cutting this and just, you know, making it go further. But I think what I'll do is maybe I will add just a little, um, maybe a little tuck here and then maybe a tuck on the inside of this flap. So I'm cutting this one in half again. Okay, so I, it wasn't quite in half because I wanted um, the one on the outside to be just a little bit um, kind of thicker. So I think I'll make a tuck spot right here. Okay, and then this way, again, you kind of, you know, I'm just sort of making tuck spots in a flip out. But again, this is something that you could do, um, you know, whatever you wanted to do with it because it's a matter of using this one sheet of paper and coming up with different, you know, flip outs or tuck spots that you can add to it. I'm just gonna open it so I don't get glue on the other side. And after um, we finish adding our little tuck spots and uh, little pockets here and there, I'm going to show you just how I quickly, um, you know, decorate the cover and then maybe add some a few some few pieces that you know we may have left over from other projects that we can make um, additional little maybe pockets or tuck spots or um, you know what type of ephemera we can use for it. So here I'm just trying to decide where I want to use this additional little piece. I was thinking maybe a belly band on the front cover, um, but maybe I'll just do another tuck spot on the inside. Um, this could have been maybe a belly band on the inside somewhere, but I think here I'm just going to make another little tuck spot for it. So there's just additional uh, places to add more ephemera. Um, I'm also going to link uh, in the description box below uh, my favorite supplies on my Amazon shop link. Um, a lot of you ask me, you know, what glue I use, paper, etc. I'll have those linked below so you can check them out as well. And now we decorate and this is the fun part is where we get to add our decorations and embellishments and you can just see how fun this one turned out okay so i'm just going to quickly add some you know embellishments so that you can kind of see the finished piece um a doily i think always makes things look fun so i think i'm going to do that um, I've been obsessed with little houses lately, so I don't know um, why, but I think it's just, you know, they're just so fun. I'm going to use this um, glue, and I'm just going to glue the center of my doily right now. I don't want to make it too, um, you know, stick it too much. I want it to have a little bit of movement on, you know, the front. And then I think for the little house, I want to add a little bit of, um, what do you call that? Like depth to it. So I think I'm just going to use a little bit of this um, foam tape that I found at my local dollar store. I found some other goodies while I was there as well. And um, oh my goodness, I feel like I haven't been out really doing much in a long time um, and um, I had to just you know pick up a few pieces and so I thought I would take a look around the you know the aisles and what they had with craft items and I was shocked by all the awesome pieces that I found I don't know if any of you would be interested in seeing a you know a quick uh, dollar store haul uh, I have what's called um, Dollarama here in Canada and so um, I was, you know, I was just kind of gathering um, a few pieces that I had found and 
I am so excited because um, it's just new to me items. Um, I'm hoping to, you know, um, share some of those with some of my friends, of course, and send them in happy mail. So I'm also kind of working on more um, embellishments for packaging, um, you know, like bag toppers. I've been making a bunch of those and um, I've also been making just, um, you know, some pieces that I can add to maybe cards or um, I'm also working on like a mini album of embellishments. So I'm not sure if you, you know you're interested in seeing any of those. Let me know. Leave a comment below. Um, that kind of gives me an idea uh, what things to film and uh, you know what you might want to take a look at. Um, and these types of projects are just my favorite because you know I can sit at my desk for a half an hour, an hour, depending on how much time I have. Um, once you've gathered your pieces, then it's so much easier because just you're just putting things together. When that happens and I love these one page wonder projects because I feel so accomplished at the end um, you know and it's also little things that I can make that I can add to my mail when I'm sending things out to friends so um, a lot of these pieces that I'm using are um, uh, pieces that I received from my friend Beth as I mentioned earlier thank you so much Beth I am loving going through the bags of goodies and just kind of getting inspired by all the little um, pieces that I find. There's just so much, my friends, that um, I've been kind of working with and um, just so many ideas. I just wish I had more time. So um, I'm just finishing adding a few little touches here and there. You can just see if I add, you know, um, stickers to the inside or maybe some die cuts in little paper bags etc this would make such a lovely ephemera holder to send to friends so um, I hope that you make some please remember to tag me and uh, let me know that you've enjoyed this video let me know if you make some I'd love to see what you make I'd love to get inspired so thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time thanks so much for stopping by